Top of the morning, top of the morning. What's going on? Take y'all on a little small uh, fishing cleaning exploration. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, clean these fish. <clears throat> okay, let's see what we got. So this was from yesterday. Got a, gonna be cleaning drum we're gonna be cleaning this red fish right here then I got uh two more drums spade fish problem fish so knock all that out today and I'm gonna take you out with me all right so just chill relax and uh take notes this is some of the tools that I'm gonna be using this right here these two or for uh, chopping the heads off because if you try to chop the heads off with the with the knives they'll dole it out so I'm gonna use these of course this right here is to get the scales off right here this is what I use it does a good job and to cut the fins off and stuff like that I use my trusty uh, scissors all right so stay tuned be back playing some fish next time I come on all right yo all right, y'all, we're going to go ahead and get into it. Knock out this uh, fish cleaning. First thing I like to do is go ahead and get some mixture, some bleach, a little bit of detergent. Put it around. Because those flies, once they smell that, they're going to be coming through. So I like to get it over here. I wish I had my spray bottle. Yo, anybody notice that spray bottles only last for like uh, three weeks? And then after that, you'd be trying to, you know, squirt the stuff out the spray bottle. <clears throat> that shit don't go nowhere. I don't know what's up with that. Anyway, I need to develop my own <laughs> spray bottle. All right, first, like I said, we're going to start off with this uh, redfish. And what I like to do is give them a good rinse first. Get the slime off them. Get the slime off them. Even though you're wearing gloves, you kind of handle them better. I used to didn't wear gloves until I got poked by a, uh, a whiting. And my joint was swollen for like a month. Finger. So yes, I do wear gloves now easy to handle and when I'm out fishing and when I catch the fish I make sure I have on some gloves because uh, you can get poked even by whiting all right I'll go ahead and scale them up y'all scaler you can get this anywhere you can go to Walmart go to the fishing section any of the bait shops for for the for the, for the new guys all right get that this is the best thing to use for me in my opinion for the scales and then a lot of people go like this when you got big red fish big drum I don't go like this I go straight down like this and they just pop off and a lot of people they just go straight for the fillet because they don't want to bother the, the, with the scales but for me when you cooking when you're cooking them up and they got the skin on here and it's filleted no bones and the skin it's good come out real crispy the skin that is and it gives it a good texture you'll see because uh when i cook this redfish up or any other fish i'm gonna film it so and there's a couple of other videos where I did a stuffed redfish. If you're new to the channel, go check it out. I think it, I did it for Christmas or for Thanksgiving. I don't remember. But anyway, it's a good video. Family in there. Some fun, funny moments. <laughs> anyway, check it out. You'll like it. But anyway, let's get back to this right here. A lot of people neglect this area, 
So I always make sure I go back and get this right here. Even in this video, you might see me uh, neglect this area with some of the smaller fish, but I try not to. Like with the spade fish and the whiting when I get to those. All right. All right, so that's most of these scales off to the side. All right, y'all, so I'm going to flow naturally. I'm not even going to think about me uh, filming this, and I'm just going to do what I do naturally. I do talk to myself sometimes, so I guess it's all right that I, you know, bring content and bring y'all to my world. But for right now, I'm just going to be me. I'm going to do what I do. So just sit back, relax, and learn something if you're not used to uh, cleaning fish, all right? And ladies and gentlemen, it's not going to hurt the taste or the fish if you're sitting it down for a second or two on grass. All right. You're going to clean and rinse everything off anyway. So it's going to be okay. So put your tissues away. <laughs> put your tissues away if you got a problem with it. It's going to be okay. All right. So, all right. Now, <clears throat> I'm a little rusty. But I did make sure my knives were sharpened. So first thing I like to do is start right here. Put a little cut in the tail. My wife, my uh, mother-in-law and everybody, they love, they love the tails and everything. My mom's, everybody loves the tail, I'm gonna eat them. And then what I like to do is start with like not right here because that's hard you got to find out exactly where the head is at and I make my decision right there and I go straight down straight down try not to pierce anything right here you know what I mean just making like a guide cut that's what I call it a guide cut to the bone right there and then I do the same thing on the other side right on the top and right behind the the gill plate. The bone is right there. Just the gill plate. I try to go down right there. All right. Now, like I said, it's been a while, so let's see. Find the bone, curve your knife, and just make a guide cut. That's what I'm doing right now. Going against the bone and finding a guide cut. going right, right along the fin right there and once you get your guide cut then you could be more precise and get, see exactly where the meat is at you know what I mean and then when you know where the meat is at that's when you start see that trying to get as much meat as you can off of here and get to that side Take your knife, kind of curve it like that, and start on the other side. Try to get as much meat off as you can. Go ahead. All right. So, all right. Yeah. This is where I used my uh, trusty scissors because <clears throat> you try to cut through these uh, try to cut through these bones right here. You ain't gonna do nothing but really dull your knife. So I just take my scissors and I cut right here and get to the top. Just cut those bones just like that. See that? And I come right here where I made my guide 
So let's that and I come on down right here. Now, uh, some people when they do their videos, it, they do it and you be like, man, that's not, that don't look hard at all. Trust me, these people are professionals. That's what they do all the time. So if you do something all the time, you know what it's called? Repetition. And when you're doing it all the time with repetition, it becomes a skill. And if you're good at it, you're good at it. If you're not good at it, then you know that's not a skill that repetition is going to teach you. But most of the time, that's what it does. So, all right, y'all. This is the first fillet right here. I'm, I don't take the skin off. Uh, we like to eat them either like this because my wife, when she... Uh, when she cooks them, I mean, they come out real good. They come out real crispy. She put it on the grill. We keep the skin on there. The skin gives the texture, comes real crispy and real nice. Me, when I'm cooking it, I like to slice it up and I like to fry them. So anyway, that's the first fillet right there. All right. Work on the second one. And you just, you know, go along the, the fin. And that's just your guideline. You know what I mean? Just your guideline. That's what you're doing. You're making a guideline so when you start your fillet, to cut your fillet out, you have a little bit of uh, where you need to be so you can get the most meat. You know what I mean? See that? And when you switch sides, it's just gonna be different, but you just have to kind of like follow the same concept that you do on the other side, but you'd be working kind of back. So in, in your knife, always this way, that way, not towards you, all right? And we're not perfect sometimes. I do it, but anyway, so. And then you're just cutting along, you you angling your knife like this, see that? And you're just cutting along the bone, just like that, see that? And then since you made your guide cut, you could blindly cut along everything, just as long as you cutting along the bone. And like I said before, I take my scissors and then I cut these last bones right here so you won't dull your knife out and then you know gets it on there clean you get a lot of meat like this right here snip right. now all I got is this little part right here that I made with the guide so let's go down all right Get that off of there. All right, this is the other fillet. Get that off of there. And then the the pin bones and stuff like that. I get I do all that in the house, you know, because it's it's hot. It's early in the morning and it's already hot. All right, I, what time is it? In Florida, Jacksonville, Florida, it's eight twelve. It's already hot. So anyway, this is the other fillet, y'all. This, the head, as you can see right here, is see-through. That means that you did a good job taking the filet off. But <clears throat> me, I'm gonna take get all these guts out and I'm gonna save the head and everything because I'm gonna uh, make a what's the name with them. Now that the meat is, I don't care about the, the guts and everything else. Now nah, I already got that out. <clears throat> take the guts out. Take this right here. Now, see this? All this is meat on this backbone. You know what I mean? So what I'm going to do is just twist the head like that. Take this knife right here and see that? That's why I like this. You do your knife. And I'm going to rinse this off. I'm going to rinse that off. Those fillets are good. And then I'm going to start on the other fish. All right? I'm going to rinse this off and turn the GoPro off and then I'll get back with y'all. Oh. 
I usually uh, rinse everything off at that table, but this brand new hose that I got from a department store is not cutting it. I already got a hole in it. I already got some tape on it already. And I'm just real disappointed, man. I just got this. And it's already leaking. All right, but like I said, I'm going to do a better job of cleaning everything when I get in the house. But I still wanted to rinse it off a little bit. So, that's that. That's the head. Head is going to be a uh, good suit. Cut that, take the meat off and everything. Or if you want to make a broth, be a good broth also. that cleaned off I like my workstation to be nice and clean between uh, cleaning so that's that all right oh gosh I don't really want to touch that with this I can't do that right there okay sorry about the little mess y'all this is just on the wind I didn't really plan on doing a cleaner video but hey nothing else to do right Might as well make some content do it for the the vine i think that's what they used to say something like that do it for the something can't remember a little ice on here like that there we go all right next up I believe that's me. The big, big drum. What up, baby? <laughs> uh, see. <clears throat> okay. Sun, it's not even all the way up. And I feel it. Go ahead and scale this. And like I said about the angle, some people go like this. I mean, whatever works for you. For me, I like to pop them off at, like this. In a slant like a, what's that, 90 degree? Yeah. But be careful with these right here. Get right off. Like I said, a lot of people they don't they don't like to keep the skin on. Some people they say, oh I don't like the skin. Yo, the skin is good. That's where the nutrition is at. That's where a lot of the benefits are good for you and it provides texture. If you're doing something like uh my wife would do sometimes she like to do a fish stew so I will take the skin off uh, one of the drums inside there so she can make her stew and maybe we can get her to do a, a cook I could do the catch and the clean she could do the cook <laughs> all right Off. All the scales are off. Look like it. Make sure those are off that tail. Okay. Now every once in a while, y'all yeah, might hear me go. <clears throat> yeah. Ah, this, 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 yo, that's not easy. It's not no easy work. <laughs> it's not easy. So you might hear me. <sighs> yeah. You do that when you at work. <laughs> Behind the desk. Uh, uh, 
Ooh. When I don't say you, I'm talking about whoever behind that desk and make those noises. <laughs> anyway. Oh, not behind the desk. Hey, you could be in a, a squad car and make those noises. Especially when you're trying to apprehend an individual and he just jump all over you. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna do more than that. All right. Get these off. That, just a quick rinse. Well, y'all getting everything today. No editing. Uh, no cutting off the GoPro. Live and uncut, baby. That's how it is. When you out there and you catch your fish for y'all newbies, y'all gonna be doing the same thing. Mine's just a little bit easier and some other people's are too because it, especially if this is something that they do all the time. They have all the equipment, they have cleaning stations and so forth like that. So this is just some of the things. All right, find where that meat is at. About right there, straight down. Around the gill plate, all the way right there. Don't hit no meat. I mean, uh, none of the organs or nothing like that. Same thing with this one. Go behind the gill plate, behind the fins, make your cut. You ain't gotta be perfect. Don't get fooled by the YouTube videos. They perfect because they do a lot of filming and if they clean in like five fish, trust me, they're gonna keep the ones that they actually got it right on, but no problem, best one, you know what I mean? So, all right, make your guide cut along the fin same thing with all fish you're gonna do the same thing make your guide cut along the fin go ahead and do this one too just it'll just make it easier after you get your first fillet off same thing make your guide cut along the fin some people don't have to do this they can go right in there and bam but I don't do this often enough to just go right on and ramble that joint. So I do it like this. All right. So once you once you do your guide, then you take your knife and get your knife up against the uh, the backbone, and then you just start cutting right up against the backbone, and you start working on that fillet. Working on that fillet. As long as your knife, you can hear your knife kind of going against the backbone, you know you're doing all right. Just keep it going. All right. Take the knife. Get through these little bones right here. Knock them off, just like that, all the way up. So you made your guide cut, go right there. And there you go, Have another fillet. All right, there you go. Nice fillet right here, all right? And uh, it's not raining if you see water dropping, it's me sweating. <laughs> all right, same thing. Same thing right here. You already made your guide thing right here. Lift it up a little and then find that bone. Once you find that bone, then just start working. Start working. Start working your knife. And like I said, you want it on like an angle. Start working. And don't worry, it's not going to be perfect, all right? 
Don't worry about that. Don't worry about your safety and taking your time. You need to worry about. See? It's curving that knife right on the bone. That off. That off. Knocking these bones with the scissors. And now you know we got that much left to work. Okay. There you go. Let's pull that and it'll take all that off. I didn't get this one pin bone, that's okay. I got it now. Okay. Heavy D. Let's get to the other matter. Alright. That's nothing but a pin. See? Get that off. Then you have your other fillet. That out of there. That was part of that tail. I usually cut around there. So that's all that is. But I'm gonna clean that up when I get in the house, man. Because the heat is coming. Alright. So this is the other fillet right here. See that? And then you can see almost see through it. You know he did a good job. Alright. So get this out of here. And then take that off. Like I said, that we use for soup. Okay. Yeah. Rinse all that off when I get to the house. All right, y'all. I'm about to go on full speed because that sun you see is right here. It's already generating. So I'm going to rinse my hands off and then uh, knock out the rest of the fish. All right, so, all right, so basically, here you have it. I'm gonna rinse all this stuff off, get this cleaned up, and then I'll do the rest of the uh, the drums and everything else. But I uh, just wanted to show y'all a little something with cleaning, you know, when you filleting the redfish and you filleting the black drum, all right? Some nice fillets. See? Nice. With the skin on, baby. Uh, this one I'm not gonna use. I'll put him in there. Cause I already got one that I'm gonna use for the, the suit that I'm gonna use. Alright y'all. So there you go. Hope you learned something. Uh hope that you can tackle on cleaning your fish once you get some big fish. And uh, just come back to here and do some reference if you're going to do some cleaning. All right. Take it easy. Don't forget to like and subscribe. All right. Comment if you want to also. Big job. J-Wave signing out. Peace.